And what's your name? My name's Julie Highland. And what's brought you to St. Mary's? The whole story. <laughs> um, well, actually, I thought it was divine intervention that brought me to St. Mary's. So um, I act actually happened to be there for a meeting accidentally that had nothing to do with St. Mary's as a parish. And um, someone who's now a good friend of mine um, just hit me up in the parking lot asking me if I could get signatures on a petition. And it was just one of those moments where I felt like um, God was speaking to me directly. And um, I felt that God was asking me to do something. And I had no idea what was going on with St. Mary's at the time, but um, I knew there was something that God was asking me to do, even though I wasn't really quite sure what it was at that moment. And after that time, I kind of started going to St. Mary's. There was something really special that was um, was pulling me there. And what's that? What's special at St. Mary's? Um, well, obviously God himself is what's special about St. Mary's, but I think um, more than that, it's the community of people at St. Mary's that um, recognize what um, they recognize God in their everyday lives and what's important. When you go to St. Mary's, you don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about um, lots of problems that exist in other churches, unfortunately, today, um, regarding orthodoxy and true church te teaching, because people that go to St. Mary's really want to be real Catholics, and they want to live out their faith, and they're, generally speaking, almost everybody who I've met at St. Mary's, um, without exception, has been really kind and generous, and um, they'll give you the shirt right off their back, and uh, that's that's how they are. They're just godly people, and they um, they give of themselves in ways I've never, I've never had, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. The three days a week of Eucharistic adoration for the last ten years is just a testament to what St. Mary's is really all about, too. And what's your favorite thing at St. Mary's? Um. Well, it's it's probably um, not to sound trite or redundant, but again, it's. It's truly, um, what's special about St. Mary's is the, the community of people that is drawn together by God. There is no place else that I've ever seen like this. You can't create something like this artificially. Um, and it's, it's something that, it's a community that's gathered together around God himself and the Blessed Sacrament. And there isn't anything like it anywhere else I've ever seen. I've been to plenty of other churches, um, obviously not for long periods of time, but, um, but certainly there's nothing like this anywhere else I've seen. And the fact that it's so small and tight-knit is what makes it really a f like a family. People care about each other like a family. So it's what makes it ironic is that supposedly that's what they're trying to make the churches be in this diocese, but people can't make it. It's only something God can make. Great. Well, thank you.